So today I want to tell you what cupping is all about. First I'm going to show you the tools of cupping. First is this glass, this is a glass cup. This is more traditional way of using cupping or in the past. We used to light a cotton ball on fire, you stick it into the cup and it creates a suction. And you, you quickly place it on somebody's back. So that was referred to as fire cupping. But now in modern times with plastic available, now we have plastic cups with a little pump. No plastic cup. Plastic cups are way more convenient and uh, easy to use in a busy clinic. We're treating a lot of people and less dangerous. Can't catch somebody's hair on fire. <clears throat> so with the plastic cups, they're a suction. So cupping is a suction or a vacuum, a vacuum therapy. Just creating a suction in that cup where it's pulling, pulling and drawing the skin up into the cup. Now primarily cupping is done in the upper back and shoulder for chronic headaches, chronic upper back and neck tension. But cupping can be done anywhere else on the body as long as it's in safe areas. You never want to cup over say a carotid artery or an eyeball. But upper back is a great area. You do a lot of cupping on the upper back for chronic upper back tension and migraine headaches. But the, what's happening with cupping basically is this suction is pulling or drawing what we call stagnated or congested blood out of the area of the cup. So out of the musculature here in this area, the myofascial area in here. So it has an effect on improving blood circulation to the muscles, muscles that are in spasm. When muscles are in spasm and chronic tension, they lack oxygen and nutrients, blood flow through the muscle. So cupping is a great way to break that up, pull the stagnated blood out, and at the same time it's pulling fresh, fresh oxygenated blood in its place. So it can help the muscle get more oxygen, more nutrients, and flush inflammatory debris as well. So cupping is a really deep therapy to remove chronic tension chronic tension patterns, and chronic spasms. Cupping's been used for a very long time, dates back to the Egyptians. It's not particular to Chinese medicine. Acupuncture is particular to Chinese medicine, but cupping has been used by many cultures all over the world. I've been doing cupping for 15 years. I was doing cupping before it was trendy and before it was popular. <clears throat> But because it's so effective, now you'll find many practitioners using cupping from massage therapists to physical therapists in their clinics because it's so effective at chronic tension, muscle tension. So we place these cups on. They'll stay on for roughly three to six minutes. Now, the therapy is fairly comfortable. It, I wouldn't say that it feels good while it's being done. Right, Christina, it's a, it's a little pinchy? Yes. Yeah, it's a little pinchy because it is pulling on the skin and, it, and at the same time it does stretch the skin a little bit. That pinchy feeling goes away in about a minute. Then it starts to feel um, okay after that. It's the end result we're looking for. Cupping can increase range of motion um, dramatically and right away most often times in a frozen shoulder. So somebody that can't move their shoulder, periarthritis of the shoulder, um, and again, chronic neck tension with restricted range of motion in the neck. Cupping is a really fast way to get things moving. <clears throat> All right.
this often. Gonna get a close up of the cups. That's a basic pattern. With cupping, you wanna fill the area. So you want no space left open. Each cup has to go right next to the next cup because we're pulling stagnated or congested blood out of the air. We want to get as much out as we can, as much as possible. All right, so it's been about five minutes. I'm gonna start taking off the cups. So we're looking for color coming up. Either a reddish color or possibly purple color coming up with the suction. That purple color, when we see that, that's old, congested, deoxygenated blood. That's why it's purple. And so, you'll see some of these cups, and you can come on in here, maybe show it like close up. Yeah, some of them are, are purple. They have a much darker color. And what that indicates is there's more congestion, poor blood flow through that area. This area lacks oxygen. Good. A little bit of color down here, a little bit of color right there. So you notice the same amount of suction was put on each one of these cups, but it only it pulls what's what's there. So there's some stuck congested blood here and here and here. So basically cupping will improve blood circulation through her upper back and all her muscles. Help her muscles to relax. And these marks will fade, it takes about 10 days total for them to fade away, but they will fade completely. Alright, Christina.